All right, welcome to Gresham Toyota, hashtag your gateway to adventure. But more importantly, welcome to the cockpit of the Camry LE. We're gonna go over a few of the features here from what you would see from the driver's seat of this guy. Of course, the steering wheel is front and center. And we got these dials over here by my thumb. They are actually here to control your mini display. Now, what is this? Lane departure, wow. You can actually make sure everything is turned on and set to your standard distance or your high sensors. We come back here, we got our pre-collision sensors. Yep, that's on. What if we don't want it to be so far away? Well, what if we want it to be super sensitive? There you are. And that's gonna be under the very end one there. Looks like the settings tool. And if you click over, you get the eye back to the beginning. Now, if you go up and down where the eye's at, it's gonna show you some more information to feed it through. And all I'm doing over here is up and down on the arrows. And this is your back button. I like to leave it on the screen that shows. There we are, my digital readout of the miles per hour. Excellent. Also, you have your volume control for your stereo. Answer your phone. And then Mr. Speakeasy. He is a great gentleman. He actually has a speaker up here that you speak into. It's hiding on me, I apologize. We'll get there. Oh my gosh, it's up front, I'm sorry. Completely lost it, so dark, there we go. Hiding up front there, apologize about that. <laughs> and that's where you speak into change the radio station, call home, find directions to. He actually has a, a feature where you train your voice recognition and it gives you more of an idea of the things he likes to do. Plus it trains to your nuances and how you speak. On the right hand, you have your cruise control setup. Allow you to turn it on, resume, set. This is how you turn it on over here with this guy. Lane departure. Now you see me playing with that up in the mini display screen. So this is how we make sure it's turned on and off. There we go, it's turned on. And then you come to the back button, takes the message off the display screen. Now you come back down to here, you got your mode and your scan. That's all to work your actual stereo that you got going on over here. Speaking of your stereo unit, we're on the home screen. Phone connect for your Bluetooth, text messages, phone calls, and any music you have stored on your phone, you can play through the vehicle. Range button, great feature. Now, with the current tank of gas, because you know this baby's loaded all the way to the... Oh, just kidding. We can do 26 miles. All right, so history cleared. It can follow your current, but it does keep track of what you've been doing, how long the car's been running, what's your average speed, all that great stuff. I do love the range button though, because I from Montana and I drive in the middle of nowhere sometimes and it's nice to know how far I can go. You got your phone button bringing you in. Nope, it's not gonna let me show you the features there because there's no phone connected. We could connect this phone on a different video though if you'd like. Tracks allow you to change the menu. We go under our audio. You go over here, you got your Bluetooth, which is your phone, FM, AM, USB and auxiliary. Great features, a USB, plug in hiding out down here with your media center and your auxiliary plug-in allows you to save music to phone to thumb phones the thumb drives and then you'll play them through the car along with your old iPod plug-in as well now thank you for watching our video if there's any questions please look up the more videos to come at gateway to adventure